Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture series on Grasshopper and Rhino. Now, this video will cover some simple data extraction. Now, part of any design exercise is to balance off constraints, as uh, and these might be building cost, uh, building efficiency, it might be performance data and so on, and often that's collected in a Excel or other spreadsheet document and you can refer back and forth between the design and the output data. So you really do need to sort of think about what data you want to extract and start to figure out where from you, where you will get that data from within your routine. So again, it, it is like a another design exercise in itself and I'd suggest that you sketch out the different things that you want to demonstrate or, or highlight in your spreadsheet and try and determine what value there is to the design in extracting that information. I'm starting here from example tower stage 4 and the final stage will have a, a full suite of parameters but I'm going to start with just sort of three or four just to give you the gist of it and to refresh um, how the data extraction works. Now I'm going to work with the TT toolbox because actually I find that to work much better than, than lunchbox but there are a few things that you need to look out for. I'm going to start off by pulling the TT toolbox right options right to Excel. So that's the the core module through there. We're going to do is it going to write or not so that's a boolean so boolean boolean toggle. Uh, so we're going to start with false so it doesn't write anything while we're still figuring out what's going on. Now this uh, next part of the routine is uh, the Excel uh, worksheet and we're going to then start to I guess put in some some values in that through here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put GF, oops sorry, I'm going to set up a panel sorry and I'm going to put GFA and that is the worksheet that I want it to write to and then we want to write the, the title of each of the columns. So we're going to write this as, as a set of columns uh, and we're going to do... Oh, I'm doing this mistake again, getting a panel and the first column I want will be floor level and we'll pop that through there, we'll copy that and we'll copy that again. The next one I'm going to do uh, gross floor area and then the next one I'm going to do um, uh, f as number CLT panels per floor. I'll do per just in case that causes a few wrinkles somewhere. Okay and if we remember from the previous sort of data extraction exercise we did, we need to feed these in through a merge uh, component so that it, it feeds it in the correct sequence. So we'll pop that in there, pop that in there and as we keep popping things in it'll just keep populating extra elements from that. The names to be written in the rows, we're going to ignore that because we're not going to write any rows. Uh, write options we don't have to worry because remember that's uh, back up in this component here. So here write data as columns or rows so we want um, columns so we're going to have to change that boolean to false, come here, false so that it writes it into columns and then we're going to have to feed the data in through here. I'm going to set up a series and remember from last time that we had to use a flatten command because what we need to do is to make sure that as the data feeds in it's feeding in in sequence that corresponds to these sort of in feeds through here. Now I'm going to, to do this series um, as a 
count because we want to pull in where's our floor number of floors here we go okay pull that in down through there so I'll pop that in as a count and that will be a series through there I'm going to so the next one is the gross floor area now I'm going to um, aggregate um, the floors as a prep so make it a bit easier for me so the that's going to be these are the slabs through here so we'll go in through there and that, that way we can just uh, hide that so we know that we're not getting cables going all over the place now we'll start with um, a flattened tree again we'll copy this we'll advance that to one so it populates in sequence now we want a an area that's our geometry through here and if we it's having a hard time thinking about that so we'll see what values we're getting out of the area through there and again like the last time we did this we're going to have to do a divider and divide that by one one two three one two three to get millimeters square millimeters to square meters so that pops into there so if we pop that there now that's square meters which is very nice um, I'm going to do a round on this as well so that we get some whole numbers very nice and then that is going to feed into the next row of data through there now I'm also going to uh, the third is the number of CLT panels per floor I'm going to do a flattened tree through there and the I'll do a copy paste make sure we advance that to the next level whoops easy pop that in there so zero one two and they can correspond with these three three through here okay and let's find the number of CLT panels per floor let's go down into here now if you look here you'll see we'll get one value out through there whereas these are sort of streams of values you know we could leave it at that because it depends on how we use the data but if we wanted to do you know 63 per floor what we can actually do is keep repeating the data uh, repeat data so it keeps feeding in to sort of populate a list so if we pop the data in there and we repeat it the number of floors here yeah, whoops if we pull that through there and now if we look we should have the number of panels just repeated 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 so when it populates in the columns um, it'll be the same kind of number of or sort of lines of data and now what we'll need to do is to merge these elements together so we'll pull this back we'll get another merge okay making sure to pop these in the correct sequence through there and so now we've got the column names and then we've got the data coming in so if we toggle this on to true you should be able to see so floor level gross floor number of CLT panels bloody bloody blah, blah and it's coming in through there I'm going to just save that I'll just pop it on the desktop um, I'll just do test test one 
to save and minimize that and then we'll pick this up in the next video thanks